Hi everybody. So this question here has turned up very recently on a GCSE Higher Maths paper and it looks quite complicated. It's not the easiest question, but I'm going to try and show you the solution in the easiest way possible without having to resort to much trigonometry or without having to resort to using formulae for sectors of or, or triangles. Okay, so what we've got is we've got three overlapping circles. The centre of each is A, B and C respectively. And we've got a shaded region here on circle B, uh, which we want to find. And we're also told that the distance from A to B and from B to C, so between the centres of the circles, is 4. So this is the radius of the, of the circles. Radius is 4. So the, the shaded area is just the area of the circle, so the area of circle B, minus, now if I draw some dashed lines down here, we've got one and two here, these are segments, these are segments of circle B. Okay, so a segment is a shape formed if you draw a chord across a circle it's it's what you you split the circle into so we've got these two segments and they are equal to each other but we've also got the bits i'm labeling three and four they're also segments of circle a and circle c and by symmetry all of these are the same so it's just the area of circle b minus four segments so the question is what's the area of one of those segments then So if I just look at one, one circle and draw it like this, so we want to find the area of this segment here. So the area of a segment is equal to the area of a sector. Okay, and the sector is, if you think of a circle like a pie, a sector is a, a slice of the pie. So if I cut along these two radii here, it's the bit that you would take out and leave a Pac-Man behind. Uh, minus area of a triangle, so mi minus the area of this uh, this triangle in here. So if you took the sector and you took away the triangle, you'd be left with that segment at the end. So how do I work out these other things then? Right, well, let's take this triangle and look at that in more detail. So we know the radius of the circle is four. So that means that this side here and this side here, these are four units long. And we also know that to this line in the middle, this was the dashed line up here, we know that the distance from there to there was half the distance from A to B. Okay, so that's that means that that side is two units. And if we just look at this, this top half then, then we can see that the other side of the triangle by Pythagoras is the square root of 4 squared minus 2 squared. 16 minus 4 is 12. And we can simplify that third because we know that 12 is the same as 4 times 3. And the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 root 3. So the area of the triangle is going to be equal to um, half the base times the height. So that's a half of, well, the total base, if we go from top to bottom there, is 2 times 2 root 3, so that's 4 root 3, and then multiplied by the height, which, which is there, which is 2. So the half and the 2 cancel, so we get 4 root 3. That's the area of the triangle then. What about the sector? Well, if I go back to the original diagram and I, we know that that's four units there and we know that that's four and that that's also four because they are just the radii of the circle. So we, we can actually draw an equilateral triangle in there and therefore if it's an equilateral triangle, that's 60 degrees. And therefore this angle in here must be 120. It's just double that. Now 120 degrees 
that's well that's just a third of the way around the circle a full circle is 360 degrees so 120 is just a third of the way around so this sector is just a th one third of the circle area okay so we've got the area of the circle going back to the top now so that's just pi r squared so pi times 4 squared minus 4 times the area of the segment so that's the area of the circle which is a third of the circle area so third of 4 times 4 squared minus the area of a triangle which we said was 4 times root 3 Okay, so we just need to simplify our answer now. So we've got 16 pi in front, 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 4 squared, so that's 64, divided by 3 times pi. And then we've also got minus 4 times minus 4 root 3, so minus minus becomes a plus, 16 root 3. Um, 16 is the same as 48 over 3 and then we can 48 minus 16 is, mi is minus 16 so we'll put the, the root the third first 16 root 3 and then minus 16 over 3 pi and that there is the answer. And we've not had to do any trigonometry or anything like that. Nice and simple. Okay, I hope that was useful to some of you out there who would come across that question and were a little bit surprised by it.